Now, let's move forward with the next step, the TD relation, which is the last step you can see on the toolbar to the left. The JSON workbench allows for on-the-fly time depth conversion of any data file to which a TD relation has been assigned. So this tool is used to create a TD relation and to assign a TD relation to the select data file. It's worth mention. You can keep the data in the original domain and have the different JSON modules convert to the other domain during computations. So the TD relation is a straightforward process where you need first to create a TD relation. So you need to load the calibrate velocity model. And also, you need to specify the datum. Generate on the first step. The datum, if you remind, is the orange top. The datum also can be constant values from for the, for the depth domain and time domain. You need to specify the name of the output file. And click Generate. Such is popping out showing that the relation has been generated. Soon after, we have to assign a TD relation to select data files. Load the TD relation that you, you want to assign to the data and use the plus and minus buttons to select the data, data files. In this case, um, property volume, a P impedance volume, and click link the, the link in on link. When, when you click link, you are assigning the TD relation to the, cel, to the select file. If you need to unassign the t, a TD relation, just select the file and click on link. Now, let's see how we can help you in your daily basis work. I'm going to open a section view and choose the property volume that we assign the TD relation to the property volume, P impedance in this case. This volume is in the time domain. Select the TD relation just like this. And we can change the vertical domain in real time. So, depth domain and time domain. Depth domain and time domain. Finally, when additional information, such as new or change well topped, or additional geological information becomes available, you may need to make edits to the depth horizon. Depth mode has two separate tools to refine the velocity. One for doing so based on well tops and another based on horizons. In a separate video, we could show you the steps to refine your velocity modeling to get an even more accurate time depth relation. Please type down above in the comments if you want to know more about it. And that's it for me. Feel free to contact us for more information and thanks for, and thanks for watching.